Bad Wolves, led by Tommy Vext of the band Vext, with uh, members of Byron Stroud's old band. We've got a new one here, man. Let's react to that. I uh, hold on one sec. Uh, they're a good band. They're a kind of like a modern metalcore, sort of like a modern new metal even band. Uh, and so, what I thought I'd focus on was the modern or most modern hard rock today. Uh, looks like the pimps across the street just got here. <laughs> Not here, but to their house. It's awkward, man. They got this dope ass. Lincoln Town Car, they come hopping out to see the big woman. Yes, I'm chancing it. I'm being silly. I know no one in metal is silly. They don't have a sense of humor. That rocks. Here, I'm going to turn it up. I hope this is a good song. I'm a flood y'all. I'm a flood the markets. Vex a good vocalist. Vex. He's even on my Facebook friends. He's definitely got that uh, Fear Factory slash Kill Switch Engage voice mix, maybe. He's got a good voice, though. Good singing voice. This is more standard and more up my alley, I admit. I love just destructive, distorted guitars and drum combo. Nice polyrhythmic little parts. Or uh, pseudo-polyrhythmic gent or whatever you want to call it. Gent. The uh, Howard Jones voice. What a good voice. Known for the song Zombie, by the way. Good song. Them. Not. Nah. Uh, from the Cranberries, the remake of the Bad Wolves are. Sounds pretty good. I'd have to give it a pretty good rating. It's catchy. I, d I wouldn't want to rate it just yet until I've heard it a few more times, but as yet, I'd give it a 7. 7.5 out of 10. It's got replayable qualities. Breakdown. Nice destructive breakdown. Is that Dallas Coils on the guitar? It is. It's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. I like it. It gets my approval. Gregor Black approved. Let me know what you think below.